what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we'll be doing a video on how to do custom license plates in a Sonic Corsa using 3ds max first we're going to import the car and make sure your scale factor is at one and the units does not matter hit okay all right now that you got the car and good job we got our plate right here so what we're going to do is we're going to open the slate material editor you can hit m on the keyboard um is the shortcut or you could go up here and click on that next we're going to add a physical material these current ones are just materials that are just laying around we're going to add a physical material which can be found under materials general and physical material double click that and this node will appear here now what we're going to do here is we're going to rename it to something that we can remember in this case i did license plate as you see here i hit this this button here uh, to assign to selection to the plate that I have se selected this will give it this gray color all right so we're just going to select the front half uh, of the plate there is a, another side on the back just to give it uh, just so it's not transparent on one side uh, in game so we're just going to select the front half using the element selection tool on the right here under parameters and what we're going to do is you're going to select a UVW map under modifier list or up here as well. I, honestly, I don't think it matters where you do it. Um, not too sure. But you can do UVW map real, real world map size. I can never say that right. Real world map size. Make sure you check that. And then we're going to select Z axis for this one. So you see it's like this facing the same way as, as a plate. If it's like if it's like uh, perpendicular to it, then that means it's not the right axis. Now we're going to add a unwrap UVW and then open UV editor. This will bring up the edit, the UV editor. And it's going to show up there. We're going to scale it up using R for scale as a shortcut. We're going to do W for move, R for scale. And we're going to make it just big enough to where we can see it, but make sure it stays within the checkered area. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to tools and then render UV template. And then this menu will pop up here, the render UVs. We're going to set it as 512 by 512. We don't want it too big or else it's just going to be a big file size. And then we're going to render output. We're going to make find our folder that we want to that we want to save it in. And we're just going to name it whatever license plate or something. And then for this one, we'll do PNG. You do DDS too, doesn't really matter. OK, and render. And that should save it, but if you want, you could always save again. But it should already save it. Now, we're going to open up Photoshop. You can use GIMP. I use Photoshop. I don't know how to use GIMP, so use Photoshop. <laughs> but we're going to go and locate our template that we just rendered. Um, this is the plate that we are using today. This is, uh, yeah, someone's someone's actual vanity plate. So pretty cool. What you see me doing here is deleting all the excess parts that are not not the plate. Now, once we have the isolate, we're gonna import our license plate template. We're gonna drag our plate on top of the template. Okay. Now that we have our te uh, plate there, we're gonna go ahead and scale the plate to where it fits the template. So pretty much how like where you put the plate here is where where it'll show up uh, on the actual object so you want to make sure it's pretty much accurate once you have it all lined up then you're going to go and save as and go back to the, the the file that you saved it under and then just overwrite it or you can save as new whatever you want to do i just overwrite it that way i don't get confused okay now that we have that saved we're going to go ahead and go back to 3ds max and we're gonna un uh, we're gonna go to material editor. Yep, there we go. And base color map under the license plate material that we created. Now so drag that over and then it'll give you this option here. OSL, general, Arnold, or environment. Now I'm using um I'm using 3ds Max 2021, so I know different versions look a little bit different, but I think the general is the same. Look for bitmap. This menu will pop up. You'll go and find that image that you saved from Photoshop. Okay, we double click on that and that should load up the bitmap and attach it to the object. 
If not, you can hit that um, you can hit that assign to selection button again to just assign it. As you see here, um, the the plate's a little bit bigger on the object than I thought it was, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit R to scale, and then we're gonna just scale it and see how it looks. But I scaled it too small, so we gotta <clears throat> open up the UV editor again and hit R and rescale it, make it bigger. Don't want it to be too small, you know what I'm saying? That's what she said. All right, and it's too small, so we we got we got keep doing it. Like, well, she. All right, so you just gotta, yep, yep, keep on scaling, keep on looking at it, say, ah, shit, I go bigger. This one, this one nailed it on the on the head. I think. Let's see. Drum roll. Hey. Okay. So, looks like we are good to go. As you see, it fits nicely around the edge of the actual object. We're deleting whatever uh, stock bolt thing we're on there, just because we don't need those. All right. Now the customer wanted a, a, a front plate as well. So we're what we're gonna do? To hit shift and drag and that will clone it and we're just going to manually rotate it like so in photoshop under filter you'll go to yeah, filter and then under 3d under 3d there's generate normal map and that will generate a normal map for the the image now what this will do is this this is telling the game the height the height of everything and just to make everything like pop, make everything 3D, uh, make it look really nice. I would put the blur to zero, detail scale all the way up. Now we're gonna save as, and we're gonna save as, um, I like to put the same name, but then just add a, a NM at the end or something, just normal, and hit okay. Okay, we're gonna open up in case editor. What we're gonna do, we're gonna select our plate It'll show up as black because there's no shader on it. We're going to select KS per pixel and M. And then make sure you select where this is highlighted right now, the blue. Make sure you uh, click on this area to like to change it because it sometimes doesn't change with the selection here. So change it to KS per pixel and M. We're going to open the TX Diffuse, the three dots. We're going to click on the license plate dot PNG that we saved. All right, then we're going to go to TX Normal. Then we're going to select the normal map that we also created. Um, then we're going to move on to the shaders. And we're going to just play around with the numbers. I think I settled with 0.2 for ambient. And then diffuse was like 0.3 or something. The ambient is like how much light the actual object has. Or how visible. And then the diffuse is how much light bounces off it, I think. I could be confused with specular. I have no idea. But you just play around with it, just kind of see how, what you like. Try to stick with like low numbers with the ambient diffuse, you don't need too much. It's all under one. Um, the Fresnel max level is going to be the uh, the one that really makes it pop. Um, so this will kind of help with the glossiness, the, the shininess of it. Really steps it up. So as you can see, it looks 3D. I mean the the edges are are raised, but the letters look raised, but they're not. So I I really like um, the normal maps for that reason. So now that we have that set, I think I decided to go a little bit less on the shiny side because it is it is a license plate. Now we're gonna save as Can Five and let's open up his showroom. As you can see, it looks very nice, very 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 nice. But that's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. There's another tutorial for you. And let me know if you have any questions down below. Um, give it a like if you found this thoughtful. Join the Discord. Also, link in the bio. And follow me on Instagram at Mamiya Motors. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day.